taking a dog out in blizzard conditions today for a doggy walk. Hey, should we go back to the car? Okay, let's go! <laughs> Hi, just checking in on a couple more of my spiders that have uh, come out of hibernation, or the fancier term is in the title, to uh, see what's going on. However, I will tell you it's only 13 degrees outside with wind chills down into the 20s probably, 20 below that is. And um, anyway, uh, I gave, uh, I, they came out a day ago already and I put some crickets in there and I see one has already uh, taken advantage of that and the other one's eyeing them up like, hmm, I want that cricket. <laughs> anyway, they're eating. I don't know how much longer they'll be out because the Phytopus otix uh, both of them have gone back into hibernation. So let's take a look at the, the tan jumping spider. And there's one of them right there. Now this, this guy unfortunately hasn't got himself a cricket yet. But it's probably just only a matter of time. Right by the window, it's pretty cool here this morning, so I would imagine that they're not going to be moving around a whole lot. And uh, the unique part about these tan jumpers is the um, the chevron pattern that they have on their backside. I always love how they can turn their body sideways and uh, with that little bit of a pedestal between the head and the abdomen.
you just can't film these guys without them jumping on a camera lens when you're trying to get too close. But it's part of the dangers of filming a tan jumping spider, or for that matter, any jumping spider. Hand jumper number two is right here underneath the plastic housing and he's enjoying one of the crickets I threw in there. I'll see if I can get a view for you to see uh, but I'll have to pop the lid off of the container to do that. There's that tan jumper with a cricket that looks about as big as the spider is. And it's all happening right outside of its web nest area. So I'm sure after he chows down, he'll probably be making it back to bed. Now I got the lid off over in this corner. is one that's still hibernating hasn't come out so we will leave sleeping spiders to stay sleeping and we will let this one uh, alone to enjoy its meal I mean, a cricket is definitely actually bigger than the spider so a good takedown and we'll see how long these guys uh, stay out of hibernation. I only got one more spider to show you that's uh, been, well, actually it hasn't been winterizing with me very well. It's been awake the whole time. It's uh, a baby left over from the Black Widow I had. And it's pretty good size now, uh, still a juvenile. But it hasn't, I've been feeding that one all winter. It hasn't gone into hibernation. The only other one in hibernation is right over here. And this is a nursery web spider, and it's been parked right under that piece of plastic. You can see its legs stretching out. It's kind of a brown colored spider. Um, every once in a while I give it a little spray of water, just jerks a leg, but it's just enjoying being in hibernation. We'll see that in the spring. Let's see if we can get a little closer look at it from underneath. And it looks like that's about the best view you're going to get, at least through the plastic here. Nursery web spider. Uh-oh. I woke this nursery web spider up. You know, it might be hungry like the rest of them, so I may have to try to get a cricket in there. Just what I needed, one more mouth to feed. Ah, there we go. A little movement for you oh, to gosh, see. I should have had my camera rolling. I offered a cricket by my fingertips to this spider, and uh, 
this, this nursery web spider grabbed it right out of my fingers. I'm just going to pop the top off of here and see if we can see the nursery web spider with this cricket. Oh, yeah, right there. Enjoying a good meal. Well, now you've seen all my winterizing guests. This one's been asleep the longest, with one more to come yet. I think I'll leave this girl get to her dining without bothering her any further. And lastly, but you're going to have to come back from this for this one, the juvenile black widow. And last over here is the juvenile black widow.